Hello everyone, I am Left, and welcome to what's probably going to be my last video before spring break. But I hope it's going to be a good one. So, today's video is going to be my musings on ranks and tiers in Vainglory, and what they could do to be better, what we could do without, things that I like about it, things that I dislike about it, and other things like that. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you all enjoy. Leave a like if you do, comment if you do. Subscribe if you do. I'm gonna be honest. It does not help me at all because I don't make money off of this But I mean just do it anyway. It boosts my self-esteem. So without further ado, let's get right into the video So ranks and tiers have always been a hot topic in the Vanglore community since the beginning In the beginning it was figuring out exactly what even are the ranks for a while Nobody was even vainglorious and for even a little bit people didn't even know that vainglorious existed there used to not even be an ELA bar, by the way. When I started playing, it was there was just kind of a blank space beneath where your tier trophy was, and um, you would like win a few games. You were like, oh, maybe after this game, my trophy will randomly change, and it, maybe sometimes it would. But then you would lose three games, and your trophy would change again. But you wouldn't know if that was up or down because there was no there was no bar to tell you where you were going. So just a little bit of tier his rank and tier history there. And also, the names were different for tiers 1 through 6 when I started playing. In ascending order, they went like this. Ask again later, working on it, getting there, not bad, decent-ish, and pretty good. And then 7 through 10 haven't changed. So, goes on as we have now. I wasn't really a huge fan of these name changes. I felt like, like the harshly, harshly named lower tiers were a good allusion to the sheer amount of information thrown at a new MOBA player trying Vainglory for the first time, which is me when I started playing. It helped to create an atmosphere of dedication and learning for if you actually wanted to get good at Vainglory. But they changed the names and there's not much we can do about it. It's hardly a big issue for me at all. I don't really think Super Evil could do anything that would make me dislike them at all. I've never dealt with a more friendly, helpful, and genuine dev team. That aside, I feel like our current ranking system could use an overhaul. Not exactly in like a fundamental way, like rescaling the ELO distribution or um, uh, or like changing the entire functionality, but what I'm talking about is a complete beauty makeover that I believe can both improve functionality of the system and reduce the prevalence of certain community tro tropes revolving around trophies and numbers. What I'm proposing is a shift in focus from trophy to number. What we have now is a 10 tier system with a 4 digit number representing your place in between the tiers. What I would propose is a shift to a system with less individual tiers but much more variance between the tiers and more emphasis placed on your number. We have a system where if you ask anybody what their skill level is in the community, 99% of them will just say the name of their trophy. That's not a very accurate representation of their skill tier, as a lot of high tier players now know. You could find amazing players that are actually in the hotness, and then there are guys in Vainglorious that just are awful at the game. So, what this means is that only at the highest apex of skill in Vainglorious Silver, High Bronze will you find people that actually care about the number beyond how it dictates your proximity to the next tier. Looking at other games, you'll find that the skill tiers are divided up by either a more prominent number system or serious subdivisions between the tiers. League of Legends, for instance, has five subdivisions in every single tier except for Challenger, with a lesser amount of overall trophies. Overwatch does not sub subdivide its tiers at all, but rather focuses fully on the numbers. They have Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Grandmaster, and then Top 500, but that's really only for pro players. The Platinum tier is the exact middle of Overwatch, but there are 500 points of distance between it and the next tier. This puts much more emphasis on the number of your skill rating just rather than being able to say, oh, I'm platinum, or oh, I'm the hotness, when you could be gold, silver, or bronze for Vainglory, and you could even be in tier 6 just lying about your skill on the internet. In Overwatch, what this serves to do is it serves to remove a whole lot of the, well, if you're on Twitter at all and you follow some of the younger pro players, 
they will often go on vein.gg, the super evil API, and look up their teammates and like, OMG, my teammate was in Pinnacle of Awesome Bronze, SEMC fix matchmaker now, or I delete Vainglory, and stuff like that. In Overwatch, that really doesn't happen very often. Um, if somebody asked me my skill tier in Overwatch, I would say I am 2840. And from that, they would know you are a little bit above average and you're kind of close to diamond rank. That really can't happen in Vainglory unless you are very, very, very deliberate with what you're asking for. I think shifting from trophies, I, sh I think shifting from trophy tier to number, or trophy focus to number focus would really alleviate or alleviate a lot of this toxicity with people going on Bane.gg, looking at other people's tiers, and then complaining about the matchmaker. If that happened in, um, if, say, say they implement the system I'm proposing to an extent, you would just look at your teammates and you'd say, oh, we're all in platinum tier, we're all in, like, platinum tier, we're all sort of around the same number. But... With the polarizing nature of all of the different skill tiers in Vainglory, like, you look at somebody that's the hotness, and then you look at somebody in Simply Amazing, and you're like, wow, these guys must be fundamentally better or worse players than each other just because of this little trophy. Maybe even one of them is hotness gold, or one of them is Simply Amazing bronze. There's really no difference between them. But because there's a different trophy between them, because one of them has won a few more games than the other one, people think that they are entirely different players. So, what I'm, what I'm thinking we need is we need to start focusing more on the number. Now, it's not anybody's fault that we don't focus on the number very much. It was only recently added. First, we had the little trophy, then we had the ELO bar, and now we have the number. I believe it's time for the number to come to the forefront of the um, ranking system because it's just a lot more precise. Um, we can still have trophies, sure, but I think the number will do a lot to help the community out with certain issues. Um, it will just be a more accurate representation of skill and changing the landscape of the community so that people are more okay with just using their number instead of their big trophy as their skill tier. I think that would do well for us. So, overall, we focus a lot too much on the trophy and not enough on the number. And it's not our fault. It's just how the ranking system presents itself to us. One last problem I want to raise is that I don't think our, our skill tier numbers scale properly for all 10 tiers. Now, a lot of you probably haven't experienced this problem, and some of you are probably in Vainglorious with me and have not experienced this problem. Overwatch has 6 tiers, and their numbers can go all the way past 4500 if you're in the top 500. We have 10 and it can't get above 3000. 3000 is the peak. If we scaled out our ELO numbers relative to what our skill is now, but with a much bigger number, so our number changes, but so does the peak, so it's still the same fraction, we're still in the same place on the skill tier ladder, we could stop having the old Vainglorious Bronze win, get 3 ELO, lose, get 3 ELO, and it takes like 300 points to get out of the tier. I think that would be one thing that would help me actually, you know, like, get motivated to actually start ranking in Vainglorious again, rather than just sitting on my butt for four days making a couple videos saying, oh, there's the decay notification again, better go play ranked, and rather, I, I just want to feel the climb again. Um, we, I, nobody wants a complete MMR reset more than I do. If you don't know, MMR is, um, matchmaker rating. It's completely hidden to you only super evil can see it and it calculates your calculates your hidden rating with every game you play so i think a complete mmr reset would be so nice i just i really 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 want that i just want i just want to feel the climb again i have like i said in the last video i've been in vainglorious bronze for over a year straight now and i i just can't get motivated to rank anymore there's there's just no point um, I probably won't end up getting the silver ever. I don't, I just don't feel like it. I don't really, I don't want to go competitive anymore. I did at one point. Um, this is what I want to do. And I guess letting go of my rank is the first step to becoming what I want to be. I want to be a teacher and a community figure and somebody that can help people. So, I've gone a little bit off topic here at the end, but that's going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed, learned something useful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Like I said before, it literally does not help me. It only boosts my self-esteem. 
but I probably will monetize this channel once I move off to college in this summer. So that's going to be it guys, I'll see you all later.